Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 55 with me Craig Barton. Now homework in mathematics is one of those divisive ideas I find and not just amongst students. Many maths teachers that I know, including myself I must admit, struggle to see the point of homeworks that just ask students to do repeated practice over and over and over again. Now I'm not saying that repeated practice isn't needed but I'm just questioning whether my time is best spent marking these reams of repeated practice and surely that's something that's better done in the classroom by the students themselves. However, I need my students to demonstrate to me in their homework that they can achieve these basic skills that allow them to move deeper into a topic but at the same time I want to see something a bit more from them in their homeworks. So I'm guessing I'm asking for the impossible here. A homework that gets that basic practice in there but also allows students to be creative and demonstrate a whole wide range of other skills. That can't be done, you may well think, as did I. But what about this idea? Uploaded by Jo Morgan, prepped homeworks. Now she's kindly uploaded one of these to Tez and I'll, if you like the look of them I'll show you how to get a bundle more as well. Uh, so this particular one is on averages and it's a PDF file and if I crack this open it looks like this. Now it's a very very simple idea but I reckon a really really effective one. So this particular one on mean, medium, mode and range, there you've got in this table here where it says skills is essentially that. A way for kids to practice the absolute basic skills of working out mean, medium, mode and range. Now once they've done that, is there much point in them doing another table and another table? Probably not, I would argue. So now let's take it to the next level because we've got another four uh, aspects to this homework. We've got literacy, which is really nice and very important. And I might be tempted to say to the students, give me a one sentence definition of each of those words, something like that, just to, just to challenge them to make sure they know exactly what it means. Then I love this little bit as well, research. What does bimodal mean? Give an example just to stretch them a little bit further, get them interested and intrigued by mathematics, get them on Wikipedia, get them on Google, and then let's have a discussion about it in the classroom when um, after they've handed it in. This is nice as well, memory. Find a way to memorise which average is which. As much as I hate to admit it, there is a certain significant portion of mathematics that does come down to memory. It's Of course, depth of understanding is important, but students have to remember key facts as well. So I like this. Instead of me telling the kids how to remember something, get them to find a way to memorise it and include it as part of the homework. And then what you could argue is one of the most important things here, the stretch. So turning this homework on its head, instead of getting them to work out mean, medium, mode and range, it's the classic find me five numbers that I have, in this case a mode of three and a mean of six and so on. Now I would argue that that is an absolutely lovely and crucially effective homework on mean, medium, mode and range to give to students. It's differentiated in the sense that you're wanting all kids to take on the basic skills, but then crucially kids have an opportunity, especially in the stretch one and the research one and the memory one, to really demonstrate to you what they can do. They can go as far as they want with this one. Now, it got me thinking that I would absolutely love a complete set of these. Uh, to, to give to my students across Key Stage 3 and maybe into Key Stage 4. And fortunately, Jo Morgan, who if you haven't visited her uh, blog and website, I, I highly recommend it, has kindly uploaded a load of these for free. So if you click on the web link that's uh, part of the resource page, you'll get taken to uh, a lovely little prep homework page. And look at that, a load of ones on number there. And then if you fancy treating yourself to a load of ones on algebra, and so on. A lovely bundle of homeworks there that I hope is uh, going to grow, grow and grow. So there's something a bit different this week. Uh, we don't often feature homeworks on the Resource of the Week video, but that caught my eye and I thought I just have to share that with you. And I shall be back with something completely different again next week. Take care and bye for now.